Okay, hello, thank you. I almost like just sank into my couch and never came back again. Thank you for watching James Reacts. This is my reaction to the new trailer for X-Men Dark Phoenix. So, I love the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I didn't read the comics, so just like became a fan based on the movies. So I can't be like, I'm a diehard goober goober with X-Men too, because like I I've I've I love movies, so that's how I'm I've been introduced to all of these characters. So a million years ago when the first X-Men movie came out, I loved it, and then X2 came out and I was like, okay, here we go, this is phenomenal. And X3 came out and I liked X-Men Last Stand because I had not read the comics. So for me, I watched it as like an action movie and thought, wow, like this is like this is crazy, like everyone's dying and and like Dark Phoenix is killing everyone. Fomka Jensen, please come back. But like, I watched it and was like, this is so sad and great and whatever, and then realized, oh, this is a travesty to the comics. This took like one thread of story from the comics and was like, let's just do this instead. I understand why people hate The Last Stand. Then Days of Futures Past came out and was like, okay, this is amazing again. Like, we're back on track. Like, we used an actual storyline to reset the timeline. Fantastic. I didn't love Apocalypse, but I think I just didn't like the villain, and I didn't like the um, impracticality of, like, I can do anything, but I'm just not gonna. Like, I didn't see him as a formidable threat for some reason, but the X-Men delivered in their performances, like, a hundred million percent. Michael Fassbender, like, yup, James uh, McAvoy, Yup. Of course, Jennifer Lawrence, duh. And Sophie Turner, very yup. Like, so, because their performances and their character arcs were so phenomenal, were so good, were so, were so in between phenomenal and good, because of that, like, that she, I, okay, I'm, let me just say I'm excited. I am excited for this. Now, I didn't do a reaction to the first trailer because this movie has been postponed forever. So when the first trailer finally, like, randomly dropped one day, I was on my phone and watched it immediately. Like, there was not, like, I was not, I had to watch that trailer right away. Loved it. I think Jessica Chastain is in this, so I, I'm anxious to see. She, I guess, is gonna be the real villain. In Last Stand, Magneto was like, come with us and be bad, and Dark Phoenix like, okay, fine. And this one, it looks like Jessica Chastain will be like, come with us and be bad, and Dark Phoenix will be like, well, I don't want to. So this comes out in June. <sighs> Okay, so this, okay, so let me, oh, Jesus, James, James, here we go. It's okay. writing. Okay. Why did you make me do that? Oh, she's talking to herself. Look at me. Oh, see, Focus this part on of the truth was good. I'm not giving up on you, Jean. She was my friend. <gasps> You're my family, Jean. She was my friend. No matter what. Stop, stop, stop! If they even just killed Mystique, they're making it seem like that. You're special, Jean. And if you stop fighting that force inside you, if you embrace it, you will possess the very power of a god. Doing, what you doing, Jean? She'll kill us all. Oh. Oh. Tell me how we fix this, Charles. Tell me what to do. I don't know what to do. And what they don't understand. What they fear, and what they fear, we seek to destroy. Heaven Peters! Oh. Sure. She is unfazed. I tried to protect her. I'm scared. When I lose control, bad things happen to people I love. It's hurting everyone. Everyone dies. She's still Jean. We can still help her. Sometimes you want to believe people are something that they are not. By the time you realize who they are. Jean! Too late. No. She's coming. Oh. 
Okay. Oh, it's starting over. You don't need to. No, no, no. Please don't. Um, I asked you not to. I said no. Thank you, Gene. Wow, okay. So this is giving me a lot of what the... Sorry. Don't at me. Last Stand trailer gave me. Of course it's a similar um, uh, storyline, so I get it. But that trailer gave lots of the drama. It's all about the transition and how it's affecting Gene. And the action sequences are kind of just like also happening, which I loved. I loved that trailer. The movie, whatever, but I'm telling you that that trailer built up to me to a point where I was like, oh my gosh, I need to see what how this ends. This one was not as good as the first Dark Phoenix trailer that we got like a month or two ago, because that one started and built and built and built and built. This one tried to do that, and I feel like it was a little up and down, but I still am really excited to see it. I'm glad we got to see more footage. She is losing her mind. And that last segment after the title card, like, that is what I'm, like, you know, she's coming. Like, that is crazy. And then the train is, like, out of the sky. And then you can see her, but you can see her from a distance through the train. Like, that is awesome. That's what I want to see. I don't want, I don't, well, her blowing up the space shuttle or something backwards. I don't know. That was crazy. So I'm anxious to see... I'm just anxious to see this. This looks great. I'm still not sure why this movie has been postponed for so long, because supposedly the first rumors were like, oh, it screened and was terrible, and I'm like, I don't know. But I mean, you never know, because Fantastic Four looked good, and then was in... I only have three movies that I feel like I will never watch again in my life because they were so miserably bad. And Fantastic Four is in that list. Acting looks fantastic. The story we've seen before, but I'm, I'm excited to see it this way. Uh, the right way, probably. I'm interested to know where... Also, where the story goes from here now that Disney and Fox... Like, now that that's... I'm, I could be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure that Disney bought out Fox and they own the rights to the X-Men movies now. Um, I'm wondering if it was postponed because of that. Because now we can introduce other characters in this movie and storylines and ideas that will eventually tie... Like... When does this take place? Would they throw in like a post credit scene that connected to Captain Marvel? Is that a thing? Am I making something up? Am I not making any sense? Because if the first one took place in like the 60s or 70s, that would mean this one was taking place in like the 80s or 90s, I'm pretty sure. Um, and Captain Marvel's gonna be taking place in the 90s. Is that a thing? Can that happen? Am I right? That would be cool. It would make me want to see Captain Marvel more because I don't really want to see Captain Marvel. Which is crappy because I was so excited about it until I saw the trailer. And then I was like, wow, I got no emotion from this. Anyway, okay, that's different. Um, tell me what you thought of the X-Men trailers so far, because there's been two. Tell me if you're excited for the movie, if you're going to see the movie. Please correct me if I'm wrong about, like, things about, like, Fox and Disney and, like, give a comment. I want to know. I want to know everything. I want to know all the things. Thank you for watching James Reacts. I'm very excited for this movie and all the movies. And, okay, bye.